We're coming up on T minus one minute to launch in seven seconds. T minus one minute. You can hear some of the ambiance from the Cosmodrome. We'll also be hearing the Russian announcer uh, giving the instructions and the information as the broadcast comes down to uh, countdown here. As I said earlier, it's about uh, minus three to five degrees with a little bit of a wind, so it's a little chilly out there watching the launch tonight. Just under 30 seconds to launch. Now we're going to step aside for the launch of Astra 2G. Of ignition. We have liftoff of an ILS Proton from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Astra 2G satellite on board. About 10 seconds after liftoff, the vehicle does a roll maneuver to alter the attitude of the vertically launched Proton towards the northeasterly flight plan and will soon experience maximum, maximum Q, which is the maximum dynamic pressure, which is when the aerodynamic stress on the launch vehicle in atmospheric flight is maximized. For Proton, max Q occurs about one minute and two seconds after liftoff, and at a velocity of Mach 1.6. There it goes. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle ascends over the Cosmodrome in a northeasterly direction with a flight azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. We're coming up on the first stage separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. On clear nights, observers at the Baikonur Cosmodrome will see a halo effect of light as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. Look at it going. Wow, that looks beautiful. Actually, you can see a halo on the screen too, or at least I'm seeing one. But this is not what I'm talking about earlier. Judy's reporting nominally from Baikonur from our Mission Control Center, and here we go. And we have confirmation of ignition of the second stage and a good separation from the first stage.